over on this side, you can see like smaller, like maybe stamens. Renee Skinner is a Longwood Gardens regular. Well, I love the conservatory and the silver garden is really special. And when Renee heard about what's about to happen here, it's starting to, to open up into flowers. She knew she had to make a special trip. It kind of looks otherworldly. This agave Americana is about to bloom, and that's a big deal. This is also known as a century plant. People used to think it only bloomed every 100 years, but that's not quite true. It actually can take about, depending on the species, it could be, you know, 10, 15, 20, maybe 50 if it's really struggling out in the you know, environment. The more you feed and water it, the happier the plant is and the sooner it blooms. Longwood's been waiting since 2007 for this one. It literally just started opening this week, the flowers, the individual flowers. Earlier this year, gardeners altered the greenhouse roof to allow the plant to continue to grow. It's nearly 25 feet tall now, and depending on the weather, it will be in its full glory in the next two to three weeks. But after that, um, I know it blooms once in its lifetime. It is a plant that we call monocarpic. So when it blooms, it basically dies. So it puts all its energy into that one flowering, um, you know, big spike, if you want to call it that. Agave Americana does leave behind babies that Longwood will put in its place. But if you don't want to wait another few decades, you can join Renee and a few others as they take in this rare experience. At Longwood Gardens, Ann Shannon, WGAL News 8.